G'day everyone, today we're going to be looking at a cool study published a few years ago that looks at attitudes, empathy and the structure of the brain. In 2010, Mossimo, Filippi and colleagues published a paper in the open access journal PLOS One. The paper was called The Brain Functional Networks Associated to Human and Animal Suffering Differ Among Omnivores, Vegetarians and Vegans. This just means they looked at what parts of the brain were working when omnivores, vegetarians and vegans viewed images of animals and human suffering. This included images of mutilation, wounds, torture and other negative scenes. Why would scientists want to show horrible images to people and measure their brain activity? Well, we're a very social species and we've evolved ways for understanding others. This includes the ability to understand that others are like ourselves, that they have emotional lives, desires and mental lives all of their own. This ability is called social cognition and it helps us navigate the complex social world that we live in. By recognising what others are going through, it allows us to understand appropriate behaviours in certain situations. Another socially helpful trait is empathy, which allows us to feel what another individual might be feeling and actually increases our likelihood to help others. There are specific regions of the brain which process empathy and social cognition. There are certain instruments that allow us to measure these regions and understand when they're active. Functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, allows us to measure neural networks in the brain. This has shown us that the brain's empathic response changes depending on an individual's attitudes towards a suffering individual. With this information, the researchers hypothesised that ethical vegans and vegetarians who hold different attitudes towards animals than omnivores might show underlying functional differences in the way that the brain processing empathy and that the attitudes that these ethical vegans and vegetarians hold influence the structure of the brain when processing empathy. Given the differences between the attitudes that vegans and vegetarians hold towards animals, namely that vegetarians do still use and oppress some animals for their personal gain and vegans don't participate in any use of animals, they hypothesise that there might be differences in the way that vegans and vegetarians' brains process empathy as well. So how did they do this? Well, they got 20 omnivores, 21 vegans and 19 vegetarians and made them take an empathy quotient questionnaire, which estimates how easily you pick up on others' feelings and how strongly you are affected by those feelings. They then used fMRI to measure brain activity when individuals were shown a set of 150 images. There were 40 images depicting negative human scenes, 40 depicting negative animal scenes, and 70 images that were neutral. They were just landscape scenes. Each participant was shown an image for two seconds, followed by a black screen for three seconds, and no more than two images from the same set were shown in sequence. So how does empathy stack up between these groups? Well, vegans and vegetarians had significantly higher empathy quotient scores than omnivores. This suggests that they are more sensitive to the feelings of others and are affected by others' feelings more than omnivores would be. How did they differ in brain function? Well, all groups showed activation of empathy networks, whether they were viewing human suffering or animal suffering. However, vegans and vegetarians showed differences in the activation of the brain compared to omnivores when viewing both human and animal images. In particular, vegetarians had specific regions of the brain that only activated in them when viewing human or animal negative images, whereas vegans only had specific regions that activated for them when viewing animal images. They didn't have any regions that only activated in them when viewing human negative images. There's a lot more detail in the paper, and if you're interested in that, I'd suggest to go and check it out. This study shows that there are real differences in the way that neural networks of the brain process empathy in the groups of vegetarians, vegans, and omnivores, and that individuals with different attitudes towards humans and animals have clear differences in the function of the brain in this empathic response. I find this to be a really interesting study and am left wondering whether the differences in the processing of empathy in the brain between these groups is caused by or induced by ethical attitudes towards non-human animals. In particular, I think it would be interesting to track the activity of these different brain regions and track the empathy quotient score of in individuals who are transitioning to veganism. 
This would allow us to see whether brain function and neural networks actually change as an individual changes their attitudes towards non-human animals. It would also be interesting to look at whether brain neural network activation is different for vegans depending on what species they are looking at. If they see an image of a mammal versus a bird in a distressing situation, is the network function different between those different um, images? In veganism, we try to remove speciesism from our thinking and from our, our life. So we don't see a difference between, say, birds, fish and mammals. We recognise that they are all equal. I'd be interested to see whether the brain function in terms of empathic response varies for vegans when they look at these different species. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any comments, uh, please then leave them down below. If you have suggestions for a paper that you'd like to see reviewed, let me know down below. All the best and see you next time.